Hey CTX Nation, Hansa CTX here, getting ready to do some maintenance on my bike after returning from my long trip. So I'm gonna do two things today. The first thing is I'm gonna remove my saddlebags. So for those of you that have never done it before, you'll watch me uh, take off my saddlebags. The, the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the rear wheel from the bike. I have a center stand, which makes it a lot easier to do the job. So if you ever have to take off your rear wheel, I'm gonna go through each step, step by step, uh, before I replace the, the rear tire. I'll uh, stop and go throughout the film to kind of help things move along. Uh, but the first thing I have to do is take off these uh, saddlebags. So the first thing you need is a six millimeter hex wrench. Open the saddlebag. Find the two bolts on the inside. one. Now I remove these often so uh, your total preference if you choose to do this or not but I do it I put any C's on these bolts because they go in and they go out very very often. I take the bags off to do rear wheel maintenance I also do it to uh, thoroughly clean the bike Okay, I put both bolts inside the bag, I hold the bag upright, close the bag and lock it. At this point I hold the handle, I grab the bottom of the bag, pull the bag away from the bike, and then I move it up and down as I pull off of the rubber mount that's here on the side, the bag comes off. And then I go lay it down. Do the same job on the other side. Undo the key, lock it, find the two bolts. Just so it's clear, I want everybody to know that I use the service manual. Here it is. 2014 Honda service manual for CTX 1300A. Chapter 17, rear wheel. I've done this job a few times. For removing and installing a rear tire, you're going to need, or wheel for that matter, you're going to need some tools. Uh, you're going to need a wrench, you're going to need a breaker bar, and you're going to need an extender. You're also going to need a 8mm uh, hex wrench, a 5mm hex wrench, a 17mm hex wrench, 27mm uh, uh, axle nut, and then a 12 millimeter socket and of course you're going to need your rubber mallet when you remove the brake caliper you're probably going to want some string some people like to use coat hangers or bungee cords and when you have to do the reinstall I recommend anti-seize, thread locker and the Honda Molly Pace with a grease gun it's just about everything you need right here to make this, uh, this job happen Remove the rear brake pad. There's a little stopper inside this hole here. Remove that. You're going to need your 5 millimeter wrench. Go in here and loosen up this bolt. Set it aside. Remove the brake pads. I got plenty of life left on these back pads.
Now you're going to remove the rear license plate holder and the plastic shroud that's above the tire. You'll need the five millimeter hex wrench. There are four bolts. Here's the progress so far. I have the number plate removed and the shroud around the number plate. Saddlebags removed. And the brake pads removed. Now I will use my 27 millimeter socket to remove the rear axle nut and washer. With an 8mm hex or allen wrench, remove the stopper bolt. Now loosen the rear axle pinch bolt with a 12 millimeter socket. Now remove the rear axle. I have a tool that I use to help me with the rest of this part here. If I get it out far enough. pulling and twisting the axle on the other side while stabilizing the tire with my right hand. As I pull the axle, I turn slightly. The last time I did this maintenance, I put anti-seize on the axle. It's helping me pull this out. Axle is removed. Now I'm going to raise the brake caliper. And once the brake caliper is up, I'm, I'm, support, I'm, supporting, I'm supporting the tire right now with my foot. I'm holding the brake caliper with my hand, and I have this rope. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to tie this rope around into this brake caliper to keep it suspended so it doesn't hang on the brake line. Some people use bungee cords. Some people use 
hangers. Um, I don't stick to any one thing. I just use whatever I got. And today, it's a piece of rope. All right. Now, on either side of your tire, you're going to have these washers or you want to make sure you don't put them on the wrong side. I'm going to leave them in the tire for now. Now that I've done that and I've secured the brake caliper, I'm going to remove the tire from the spindle nut and the differential. And the tire is removed. Important to note, against the swing arm, if you will, on the left side there is a washer. The washer goes in between the brake caliper and the frame. I want to keep that in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is that to remove the tire you have to push the whole tire to the left to remove it off of the spindle nut, or not the spindle nut, the spider gears in here. While I have the bike disassembled like this, it's a great opportunity for me to clean underneath the bike, clean inside clean under the uh, frame and inside the wheel well. The collar that was on the left side of the tire, I can give that a good cleaning. And the washer, I can give it a good cleaning. I can also clean inside the areas here and I can remove excess molly paste that was in the gear here. I'm not gonna use any sprays or anything inside of this mechanism in the differential. I'm just gonna wipe it out with a rag, make sure it's all nice and clean. So when I put new molly paste on the tire, on the gear, uh, there's nothing to contaminate it. A couple helpful hints for me to you. When I do my work on the bike, I always keep all of my parts together. Got a neat little blackjack seat. So I like to put all of my parts that I take off the bike in those areas so they're really close together. So all the little pieces and the nuts and the screws and all that fancy schmancy stuff. My tools, well, you know, they just end up all on the floor around the bike, kind of where I needed them the most. Uh, I want to give you a helpful hint here. The 17 millimeter uh, hex tool will be a wonderful asset when I put the axle back in after the tire is replaced. It'll help me tighten it before I have to tighten down the pinch bolt. When I put the uh, tire back on, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean off this uh, area of the tire here. I, I, I call that the spider gear. I, I don't know if there's another official term. I also clean it up in here and I grab my molly paste which I showed at the beginning of the video. This is the, Holly, uh, the Honda molly paste. I put it in my grease gun and I make sure that it's good to go. Then I put anti-seize lubricant on the axle when I slide it through. It helps a great deal with uh, further removal. It helps lubricate it when it goes in too. Something to keep in mind is the wheel spins on bearings and those bearings are inside the wheel. Don't think that the wheel spins on the axle. The axle doesn't move. So that is the rear tire removal of my CTX. I'll uh, make another video later on when I put the wheel back on after I get the tire replaced. Hopefully one day I'll have the funds to have my own uh, tire removal machine. <laughs> I know Nomar makes one. I really uh, like what they do. And once I have that done, this will be 100% done at home. No need to take the wheel to a shop or a stealership to have the rubber replaced. All right. Hansen CTX signing out. Peace.